Hi, Ovidelsi. I'm Gabby Hall. And I'm Sarah Sapsi. This is OETV Weekly for Friday, September 9th, our first show of the year. The Purple Melon School Store is now open today in room E7. Stop in and check it out. The entire high school will be taking a field trip to the Breslin Center next Wednesday, September 14th. We'll be hearing from Mike Smith, who has spoken across the nation. That day, all students will be meeting with their new advisory classes at 7.45 a.m. To find out which class you are in, please check the list posted on the windows in South Hall. Auditions for the school play, Arsenic and Old Lace, will be Tuesday, September 13th after school in the auditorium. If you cannot make it this day, there will be an opportunity to audition after school on Wednesday as well. For more information, please see Sarah Sopsy. The first meeting of the National Art Honor Society will be taking place next Tuesday morning at 7.20 a.m. in the high school art room. And AHS is open to all interested students in grades 9 through 12. Attention all basketball players. Jason Otter will be hosting a camp here tomorrow. For more information, please visit otterbasketball.com or contact Dr. Cunningham. If you received a student activity form for National Honor Society in the mail, please have it completed and turned in to Mrs. Lorencell by 8 a.m. next Tuesday. Mrs. Latz is currently on the lookout for students to work at sporting events this fall. This is a paid position. For more information, please see Mrs. Latz. Attention, all junior and senior girls who are interested in playing powder puff. There are parental consent forms available in the high school office. Remember, you must have a current sports physical on file in order to participate. Picture day will be next Tuesday, September 13th. This summer, high school members of the Michigan Lions All-State Band had the opportunity to travel to Japan. Here's Natalie DeLong with more. Where the Ovidelsi Lions Band flew to Japan, and here is some of their favorite experiences. An amazing place to go to, fantastic scenery. Um, everyone there was extremely nice. The streets were completely clean of any trash. We could take a page out of there. The Hiroshima exhibit, um, you, it's life-changing. You go through there and you feel like crying because you realize your country did that to them. A lot of innocent people and you come out a different person. It was pretty awesome, once-in-a-lifetime experience. They also played at many locations. And we performed at, I think, Tokyo, um, Fukuoka, and Hiroshima was, I think we performed right outside there, and that was probably the coolest one. We performed in Hiroshima, the Peace Park there, in Fukuoka during the Lions International Parade, and um, just here and there. From OE Online, I am Natalie DeLong. Special thanks to Ovidelsi alum Trevor Stevens for providing footage from this once-in-a-lifetime trip. Tonight's M-Zone theme is red, white, and blue in honor of our fallen heroes. If you have any questions or need a ride to Hemlock, please see Sam Sherwood or Kylie Helms. Congratulations to the JV football team. They defeated the Hemlock Huskies last night 20-8. Any students interested in working out before school should see Mr. Ballou. The C.C. Risa College Night is fast approaching on Wednesday, September 21st. Forty-three colleges and universities will be there. If any students pre-register online, they can bring a barcode with them to the fair instead of filling out cards on site. For help registering online, you can contact Mrs. Wendy Smith at wsmith at ccresa.org. In sports today, the Varsity Boys tennis team is away at the Lancer Invite, and that started at 8 a.m. The Varsity Boys football team also has an away game tonight, but that's in Hemlock, and that starts at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, we have our Varsity Volleyball team away at Corona. That starts at 9 a.m. Our JV Volleyball team is at Carson City Crystal, and that also starts at 9. Last but not least, our Freshman Volleyball team is away at Elma High School. That's our show for this week. Before we go, we should give a shout out to our own Callie Tyson and OE alum Trevor Stevens. They provided the aerial images of the high school you saw in our opening. That's really cool. Have a great weekend and go Marauders!
Thank you.